welcome friends what we have just seen in example of, of operation of the isolator on load it means that the breaker was closed and the operator was trying to close the isolator on load so obviously the isolator is not an on load device and it causes a huge R because the isolator was switched on on the load so this huge arc was resulted in damaging of the circuit breaker itself so circuit breaker was blasted because of this huge arcing that took place and that create uh, the transient voltages so it means that in the substations we need to take care the sequence of operations of different equipments in the substations we have major controlling equipments that is circuit breaker isolator and the R switches so these are the major components of the substation that are involved in controlling and switching the circuits so it means that we need to follow a certain sequence or we need to create an interlocking arrangements that will make sure that the operation should be taking place in a sequence so what is an interlocking so interlocking can be defined as the circuit breaker uh, interlocking with circuit breaker is that the isolator can be cannot be open or closed unless the circuit breaker is in open position so there are various different types of interlocks available in the substations like interlock of isolator with R switch interlock of isolator with the circuit breaker and in, uh, and other interlocks in the substations so however we have seen example where one interlock was just bypassed so isolator was closed on load so interlocking could be defined in two types the one type is the mechanical interlocks another one is electrical interlocks so you can see this is uh, isolator and this is basically the controlling rod the motor is here the mechanism of isolator is here and you can see this rod here is this is the earthing switch and this one is the isolator over here so the isolator can uh, uh, if the isolator is in closed position so you have to first open the isolator and then you can operate this arm up and you can ground the line so this interlocking is normally provided by mechanical means so there is a mechanical interlock available that will prevent the non op the, uh, uh, prevent the operation of earthing switch if the isolator is in closed position however there could be an electrical interlock as well that can be provided so you can see an example over here we have a circuit breaker shown by the box and we have the two disconnector and the R switch so if I draw electrical interlock here between the isolator and the R switch then I can make the interlock like I can for example this is the motor of the isolator and I want to operate the isolator this is a push button for example and what I have to do I have to just put the normally close contact of circuit breaker in series with this command so this is the normally close contact of the circuit breaker it means that if the circuit breaker is in open position this contact is in closed position if the circuit breaker is closed then this contact will become open so if this contact is open so if the cb is if the cb is open i can give command to motor and i can operate the isolator open or close commands and if the circuit breaker is in closed position this contact will be in open position because it is a normal closed contact then you can see the supply to the motor has been cut and I cannot do any operation if the circuit breaker is in closed position but in the video we have seen that the person was doing the operation mechanically so he was doing the mechanical operation of the isolator first he has opened the R switch and then he was trying to close the isolator and when you're putting the rod at that time 
the interlock was missing that enabled the operator to operate the isolator so what interlock could have prevent in this case if you provide uh, if you if you have a if you want to operate the isolator for example this is an isolator box there is one option to operate the motor another option is to put the lever and move the lever and then when you move the lever the isolator position will change from open to close gradually okay so isolator will be from open to close gradually there is a shutter on the lever so you need to interlock the shutter of the isolator lever with the circuit breaker auxiliary contact so it means if the auxiliary contact or circuit breaker uh, or you can say that if the circuit breaker is in close position operator should not have put the shutter uh, should not have to put the lever because shutter is already in close position or you can say shutter is locked out or might be this protection is not provided here in the scheme so this is a thing that we need to take care when we are dealing with the substations operations and interlock thank you very much